Hello, my name is Taylor McMullen, and this will be a brief video on how to use eDocs DM extensions. For this video, we're going to be using the Outlook extensions, which looks and works very similar to the Windows Explorer extensions. The main difference is inside of Outlook, you'll notice the eDocs DM node sits below the Outlook tree files. So we're going to close this just to move this up a little bit, make it a little more prominent. And then underneath the eDocs DM node, you'll notice we have a recently edited documents, applications, attache, the name of the library or libraries if you have multiple ones. Any dynamic views that may be created will be displayed here along with templates and workspaces. Recently edited documents is just a pre-save search that goes back and looks at all the documents edited for the particular user you're logged in with over a set period of days. That number of days is defined by your administrator. As you can see, I'm logged in under my test account, I call test funky, and these are all the documents that have been saved or edited by this user in the last 60 days. Underneath this, you'll see the profile window. Oops, excuse that message. You'll see a profile window that displays information about the document selected. Different documents have different profile forms, so it will display the appropriate profile form for the document. In this case, I happen to have a document with a nonsense content name because I made this on the fly, and it has the metadata I associated with this document at the time of being saved, along with the creation date, the edited date, and any security if there happens to be security on that document. If you wish to do a search for documents other than the ones that you've recently edited, there's two main ways to do that. The first is you can come here to the DM tab at the top of the Outlook window and then click on this search icon. This will bring up a profile search form and you can then search for whatever criteria you wish. In this instance I'm going to look for all documents created by my test user account that happen to also have a content type of default. And as you see here, this is the search result. It's a little different when I do this as opposed to doing the red list. There's a few extra columns added on here. These can be modified by your administrator as well. And as you can see, I have Word documents, Excel documents, and emails that I have saved recently. If I wish to do a search through here without going to hit this button, I can simply right-click on the library node over here, go to the DM option and choose new search and fill out my criteria here as well. Once we have the search results pulled up, I can simply highlight a document and I can either right click on it, choose the DM menu and click open, or simply double click the document. At that point it will ask me which version of the document do you wish to open, so I will select the version that I wish to open. In this case we're going to open the original version and MS Word is launched and if we give it just a moment this document will be displayed. Maybe more than a moment. There we go. Okay and this is the Word document open directly from DM. You can see at the top it has the DM document number and the version number along with the DM document name. Once you're inside MS Word you can see a tab up here called DM that has a number of options that you can use inside of application integration. First of all, you can open up a DM document from inside of Word. If you click this Open from DM button in the top left corner, you will notice the Quick Retrieve menu opens. It looks very similar to the ex extensions window that we saw inside of Outlook, and this can also be used to search for documents and open them up. It does not have to be an MS Word document. I can use this quick retrieve and open up an email. It'll ask me for the version. And you'll notice it doesn't do anything to the Word document. It just opens up my email here. So that can be used to open up documents inside of DM as well as using the Outlook extensions. If you make some changes to a document, such as that, oops, changes changes and you wish to save this as a new version of the document you can come here to the save as button choose save as and you'll notice new version is selected here I'll click OK if I wanted to add a comment I could I'll click OK 
And you'll now notice that this went from version 1 to version 3. I already had a version 2, so it jumped to and went to 3. And that is how you can save a document as a new version of an existing document. If I don't want to do that, let's say I want to create a brand new document inside of MS Word. I can do so, and I can insert items from other documents inside of this. For instance, if I want to insert a picture into this new file I'm created, I can come here, it asks me to do a quick retrieve, and I'll choose a picture of a desert. And you'll notice it asks for version, as it always does, and it inserts this image. I can also insert text from another DM file. Choose that option, insert, insert text from file. This one hid from me for some reason. And I am going to choose this document here. And you'll notice that the text from that document was also inserted. That document happened to have a picture inside of it, which is why it also inserted this uh, picture as well, because the document I selected had an image as well as some text. So that is how you use the DM insert button. If I want to come down here, say below this other image, I can use a DM hyperlink, and rather than including the text from another document, I can put in a link to that actual document itself. So I can come in here and put a link to this document called test2, document number 1564, and click OK. It'll ask me which version. I'm going to just choose the last version that created. And you will see this link created here. If you click on this link, and due to some security precautions on Microsoft, it's going to make sure I click OK there. And you'll see document 1564 test 2 is opened. Now that I've created this new document, I want to save it into DM. I have a couple ways I can do so. I can come here to the Save As feature. And if we give it just a moment here. you'll see a profile form has been displayed. I have some settings on my machine that have these values pre-filled in from the last time I saved something. However, you don't have to use these values. You can come in here and change them to whatever you want. I am going to leave it at these particular values, so I'll change the document type to default. I will come in here and add an author. Use my test account as the author, and I will click OK. And now you'll notice this has a document number given to it, video one, and you see the name that we saved this as its DM document name. If we close out a word and come back here, we'll briefly go over how to save emails into DM. It's a very similar process. Let's say I go back into Outlook. I come into my inbox and I just take, this happens to be a sample email, but let's say it's very important and I need to save it into DM. I would come up here, make sure I'm on the DM tab, and simply click this Save button here. I can also come over here and choose the option, um, but it's much simpler to come over here and click this. When saving an email, it's a little different than saving a normal document. It will ask you a few things. For instance, do you want to delete the original message after you save it? And don't show this form again next time, so whatever options you choose here, it will maintain in the future. If this document, or if this email, excuse me, happened to have another document attached to it, it would ask me if I want to save that attachment separately. Um, I can choose not to save the attachment at all, or I can choose to save the attachment as part of the DM document originally. In this case, I'm going to just click OK here, and you will notice that a DM profile form has appeared. Again, this one looks a little different than the other one I used, just a little different order, but it's the same information. I'm going to keep that same metadata for now, but I'm going to set the author. Rather than using these lookups to choose the metadata by coming in and choosing client, choosing your client, and then coming in and choosing a matter after the fact, we have a dynamic view tree. Dynamic view is just a, another way of navigating your metadata information inside of the DM library. My clients is a subscription based thing where I'll see only the clients I've subscribed to. Recent clients will show me all of the clients that I've recently saved information to 
and all clients will show me all of the clients inside of my DM database. In this instance, I'm going to choose the default client. If I expand that, I'll see the default matter. And if I expand that, I'll see the default document type. So I can choose that, or I'm sorry, I want to use the summons document type. So I click there, all of the metadata gets filled in for me. If I want to change it to the memo document type, I can do that, and it does so. But we'll go back to the summons type, it doesn't really matter. Click OK. And the email is saved into DM. That is a short demonstration on how to use eDocs DM extensions. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a note at the bottom of the YouTube video. Thank you.